to a hard to sell introduction to the new gangs, the crack fed gangs that are booming in America's cities. Tonight, we look at the first layer of victims, the bystanders, the people caught in the crossfire. Oh man, it ain't nobody gonna bring your back. It ain't nobody bring your back. A woman shot and killed near the L.A. Coliseum, a case of misidentification. A 13-year-old shot his father and sister killed because the boy wore the wrong color hat. A drive-by shooting in Stockton, the victim wearing the wrong colors. Countless horrors from Los Angeles to Oakland with thousands of people caught in the crossfire. So that you'll better understand what is happening here, we'll introduce you first to a group of Crips, gangbangers from the Linwood section of Los Angeles, a war zone filled with posturing little soldiers. It's easy to Crip to me. How important is the money? Is it not important? You'd be a Crip whether there was the money or not? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Y'all think Crips got to do with money? <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with money. That's <laughs> protecting your homeboys, watching out for one another. Some y'all don't do, y'all don't watch out. You wouldn't die for him, would you? You saying that now on TV, him. but you wouldn't die for him for real. I'd die, die for my homeboy. Would you die? Yeah, I'd die for my homeboy. If somebody came up to you tomorrow, grabbed you and said, I got a job, a good job, good pay for you, okay. would that make a difference? Come on, let's go now. He ain't gonna stop me from cripping. <laughs> but you'd take the job crip. too, wouldn't you? Huh? You'd take the job too? I'm a crip at work. Oakland has the same problems with a slightly different twist. The kids at the Thunder Road Drug Rehab Center have lived through it, are living through it. Everything started off fine for me, but as, as time went on, I started to get too deep in the drugs, so I started getting in trouble on the streets. So I thought to myself, you know, it was either this or death. You can never get away with the problem because it has been expanding a lot. Like before, it used to just be fist fights. I was getting into Uzi guns, grenades and stuff. You like see that. that stuff? Yeah, I see that stuff. It's not just crack. I feel it's PCP too. I mean, crack's just like PCP. I mean, it, it can cause death. What do you expect a young kid to do if he goes outside and don't see nothing but dope dealers, you know, big gold chains, a lot of money, and girls, you know, you want to grow up and be just like him. But the problem is, you know, kids in the ghettos and things they don't have no place to go after school so they just hang out in the lodge you know so that's what they see that's their role model so that's what they want to be like i feel like the community has to band together because that's that's where the solution is and what it takes is a shock say the discovery of an 11 year old selling drugs on your street i said now uh, what are you doing man and he said i'm making a living now, tomorrow night, we'll look or begin the look at the solutions, at people trying to do something, at the theories. And there are numerous theories about what should be done, the directions, that, uh, in fact, all is not lost. This will be a very tough week for hundreds of...